Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a suit jacket for a stuffed animal. This video was highly requested after I made my ties video, so let's get started! To make this, you will need pins, scissors, black fabric, you can really use whatever color you want, and I'm also using one black button. And you'll also need the patterns, I'll have these linked in the description box below. First, I'm going to cut out my pieces, and since a lot of them will have to be doubles, I'm first folding over my fabric. And this way, when you cut out the double pieces, they will be mirror images of each other, which all of them have to be except the sleeves, but it doesn't really matter with the sleeves. So this first piece, I'm going to pin down on two layers of the fabric, and then I can just cut it out. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the sleeves. So I need two of these pieces. And then I'm going to go to this back piece, which is the only piece that you only need a single of. So this is only on a single layer fabric. And lastly, I'm going to do the collar, which I actually need four pieces of. So what works best for me is folding the fabric twice so you have four layers. And that way you'll have two pairs of mirror images of the collar. I don't know about you, but for me it feels like cutting out the pieces is the longest step. I don't know why, it should be pretty easy, but for me it takes forever, so comment down below if you agree or if I'm just really slow. After all the pieces are cut out, I'm going to move on to grabbing my two front pieces, and this is with the bad side facing up, but you can't tell with my fabric, and I'm just going to fold over that bottom edge a little and just start pinning it in place. And I'm going to stop once I get to the curve. And if any of these pieces look different from the printable patterns, that's just because I made some adjustments to them to make sure the suit jacket looks the best that it can in the end. I'm also going to do the same thing to the back piece and make sure you have the bad side facing up and I'm just folding over this bottom edge and pinning it. And then I'm just going to do a straight stitch across the bottoms of each of these pieces. After that, I'm going to start hemming the inner sides of these jacket pieces. So to help me fold around this curve, I'm making a few cuts here. And these were a little tricky to sew, so if you want to avoid that, you can always just cut them out as a straight edge and avoid the curve. But now I'm just folding in that side edge all the way to the top, and once you get past the curve, it's really easy. Now I'm going to do the other side and sew right along these pins with a straight stitch. Now before moving on, I just need to hem the neckline of the back piece. So I'm making some cuts around the curves with the scissors, and then I can just fold it over really easily. And once I've pinned all the way around, I can just sew this down with a straight stitch. After that, we can move on to making the collar. So I'm going to grab my four collar pieces and grab the two that match up with each other. And I'm going to flip these good side to good side, but you can't really tell with my fabric. And now I'm going to pin them together because I'm going to sew around the entire thing except for that straight edge. And believe me from experience, make sure to sew very far away from the edges. I made the collar pattern very big on purpose because if you sew too close to the edge, they will rip open, which is what happened to me multiple times. After that, you can start turning them inside out, and I'm going to use the end of a paintbrush to help me poke out those little points. And I know this looks like a frayed mess right now, but that's just because of the fabric I'm using. This is the same fabric I used for my winter jacket video since I had so much left over, but if I were to do this again, I'd just make sure to use normal thin cotton fabric because this material was getting so thick when working with the collar that it was giving me problems in the sewing machine. So make sure your fabric isn't too thick or tough. Now it's time to add the collar to the main jacket pieces and you'll want to lay the collar how you want it to look like in the end and then you can just flip it over and fold over that edge and do not be afraid to fold it over a lot because this can get disconnected pretty easily too so I left a lot of extra room for that in the pattern. And in the final pattern, these sides of the suit aren't curved, so that will also make things easier. And after that, you can just use a straight stitch to sew where you've pinned. And this is the point where my fabric got too thick for my sewing machine, but somehow I still was able to guide it through. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add my buttonhole, and this can really be added at any time, but I just decided to do it now. So I'm just using a little white crayon to mark how long the button is and just where I'm going to put the buttonhole. And I probably should put it on the back where you can't see it, but it's okay, you didn't really see it in the end. And if you're not using a buttonhole foot like me, make sure to draw your guideline a lot taller than the button actually is, because once you sew it and cut it out, the hole will actually be a lot smaller than you planned it to be. Now you can't really see it, but I'm going to cut this out with scissors at first, and then I'm going to use a seam ripper to cut out the rest. And then I'm just going to make sure my button can pass through. Now I can connect this piece to the back piece, and all I have to do is flip them good side to good side and then pin the tops together with just a single pin. I always just use a single pin. 
And that inner corner of the collar should be the only part of the collar that's sandwiched in between these two pieces because you still want most of the top of the collar sticking out. Now we can finally move on to the sleeves. So I'm first going to hem the bottoms of each piece. Make sure you have the bad side facing up and then fold over that bottom edge. And from now on, the process is pretty similar to a lot of the shirt videos I've made in the past. Really, the collar was the trickiest part. And once everything is pinned, I'm going to sew along the bottom with the straight stitch. Now to sew the sleeves onto the main piece, I'm going to match them up with the curves good side to good side. And I'm going to make sure that the collar is flipped in because you don't want those sealed into the sleeves. And now starting from the middle, I'm going to line up the curves and pin them together. After the other side is pinned, I can sew this all together using a straight stitch. Now we can finally fold this in half good side to good side and start lining up the sides of the jacket and the bottoms of the sleeves. And then I'm going to sew this together all in one go using the straight stitch. After that, I'm going to cut off any extra fabric from the sleeves. And then you are pretty much finished and you can turn it inside out. There is one last thing I have to do and that's add the button. So I'm going to try this on my bear first. And he is not a Build-A-Bear, as you can see, but I will have this size to fit a Build-A-Bear. Luckily, this is fitting great, and I'm just trying it on first so I know where to put the button. So I'm going to grab my button and a needle and thread, and I'm just going to overlap this over the buttonhole just to see where the button should go. And then I'm just going to sew this on. And you could also just have no button at all if you don't want to, but most suits have one single button, so I figured that wouldn't be too much trouble to add. When sewing the button on, I'm making sure to go through with my needle into the diagonal holes, and that should just make a bunch of X stitches that will hold it on really well. Now I'm just making sure the button works and is in the right place before I lock the stitch, because I've definitely had to redo buttons before because they were too high or too low, and now I can just lock my stitch and it's done. I hadn't tried the full outfit on yet, but I kept it simple with a plain white t-shirt, which I know you don't usually wear under suits, but I just used the pajama shirt from my pajama video and turned it backwards, so it's just a plain white shirt. And for the tie, I used my red bow tie from my tie video. I think all these colors just looked really good together. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, comment any video requests you have down below, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I also recently made a TikTok account and already have a whopping four followers, so if you have TikTok, I'd appreciate if you'd give me a follow there. I'll see you next time!